Hi everyone, I am Sangeetha, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science, KSR Arts and Science College for Women, Treasure Code. Today we learn about Database Management System. Topic is Database Management System Architecture. DBMS Architecture describes the structure and how the user and connect to the specific database system. It is also affect the performance of the database as it help to design, develop, implement and maintain the database management system. Types of DBMS architecture. Hence, an entire DBMS architecture divides the whole DBMS into related but end independent layer or level. That is, one tier architecture divides the DBMS into a single layer. A two tier DBMS architecture divides the DBMS into two layers, a three tier in three layer, and so on. When the layer or increase the architecture, the level of abstraction also increase resulting in an increase in the security and the complexity of the DBMS structure. All these layers are independent. That is, any modification performed in a particular layer does not affect the other layer present in architecture. DBMS architecture consists in three types. Single tier architecture, two tier architecture, three tier architecture. Single tier architecture. In this architecture, the database is directly available to the user. It means the user can directly sit on the DBMS and use it. Any changes done here will directly be done on the database itself. It does not provide a handy tool for end user. The one tier architecture is used for development of the local application where programmer can directly communicate with the database for quick response. Two tier architecture. The two tier architecture is same as the basic client server. In the two tier architecture application on the client end can directly communicate with the database at the server side for this interaction APIs like ODBC, JDBC are used. The user interface and application programs are run on the client side. The server side is responsible to provide the function functionality like query processing and trans transaction management. To communicate with the DBMS client side application establish a connection with the server side. Two tier architecture diagram. Three tier architecture. The three tier architecture contain another layer between the client and server. In this architecture client cannot directly communicate with the server. The application and the client end interact with the application server which further communicate with the database system. End user has no idea about the extension of the database beyond the application server. The database also has no idea about any other user beyond the application. The three tier architecture used in case, yeah, in case of large web application. Three tier architecture diagrams. Next we learn about parallel and distributed database management system. In parallel database system data processing performance is improved by using the multiple resource in parallel. In this CPU the disk is used parallel to enhance the processing performance. Operations like data loading and query processing are performed parallel. The centralized and client server database system are not powerful enough to handle application with the need fast processing. There are several architecture model for parallel machine. The most important one are as follows. Shared memory multiple CPU. Here the computer has several simultaneously active CPUs that are attached to an interconnection network and share a single main memory and a common area array of disk storage. Shared disk architecture. Here each node has its own main memory but all nodes share mass storage. In practice, each node also has a multiple processor. Shared nothing architecture. Here, each node has own mass storage as well as main memory. Distributed database. It is a collection of multiple interconnected database that are spread physically across various locations that communicate via computer network. Distributed database gives us the following modular development. The term modular development includes that when we want to expand the using system on different location, then we just need to add nodes to the current network and these nodes do not interrupt the current node network functionalities.
increase reliability the term increase reliability refers if one node on a network fails then it network it work can be distributed between other nodes on the network falling of one nodes does not stop the system improve performance we are we all know that a small database is easy to handle compared to the large database so in a distributed database a large database is distributed into a small database across various location which are easy to handle with better performance increase availability the failure of one node will not affected data availability because data can be obtained from various other nodes on the network faster response data retrieval become more efficient as data is available locally thank you